But at that time I was shooting the Bond film, and the Bond film was supposed to finish by Christmas, and this was supposed to start on January the 10th. But the Bond film got delayed, and then with all the Christmas holidays and everything that kicked in, they were unable to finish before January 10th, and the other producer could not wait. I went to him, I said, Jeff, the producer called Jeffrey Reeve, I said, Jeff, can't you please adjust me a little later? He says, Kabir, we are beginning the whole project with a procession that is led by you, master of the horse. Elephants have been walking for two months to reach Jaipur by this date. Everything has been arranged with the army, with everything we cannot postpone. So I lost that role. But many years later, I played the same role in the theatre in the West End of London, uh, in the Far Pavilion. So it's funny how things come back to you in different ways. About two years ago, I did a play called uh, Taj in Toronto. This is a play on the life of Shah Jahan, written by Canada's biggest and most famous playwright. And it is truly an extraordinary work. I hope to bring it to India on tour one of these days. I did it two years ago at the Luminato Festival, which is a great festival for the arts, perhaps the best in North America, in Toronto. This year, we are taking Taj and we are touring the whole of Canada. Eight city tour, starting in October and November. So that is my way of keeping up with my riyaz, keeping up with my craft, keeping up with audiences, keeping up with the art of, 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 of acting. And you know, you have to ask yourself what you're probably most curious about is what are the differences between working in India, working in Europe, working in America. There are a lot of differences, a lot of differences because there are different peoples and different systems. Things are changing here. But you know, I grew up in a generation where I never saw scripts. Even at the end, by the end of a film, I never saw a script. People came to you and they narrated a story to you. You better remember that narration for the rest of that film because you will never hear the complete story ever again. And narrators are chosen not just because people don't want to read scripts, because narrators can narrate the script to you from your point of view, highlighting your role, minimizing other roles. So everyone thinks that the picture of the Maria. Net result is people get on stage and lots of fights happen, rewriting has to happen, etc. So we are much better now. I've seen far more scripts around. The younger generation particularly is very adept because also it's no longer as simple as saying, Kiji, Rajesh Khanna ko Pataliya, Chalo picture ban rahi hai, Lunamla jate hai, Teen Aftem script likhte hai, that doesn't happen anymore. Corporates have come in, other people have come in, they want to see scripts, they want to see budgets. So you better prepare for that world, and I'm sure you are. Um, but even with all the scripts in place, we don't put as much emphasis on pre-production as Hollywood does, or even Europe does. In Hollywood, I say, you know, they do pre-production for two years, and then produce it in two months. And I exaggerate slightly to make that point, but when I say pre-production, I mean the whole process from getting the script off the ground, getting it cast, getting it put together, getting all the deals and other people involved, the studios. There's two years of pre-production and two months of production. Here, we have two months of pre-production, two years of shooting, you know, uh, because films are often made on the installment plan. Although, I say, as I said again, that's changing. And I hope it does change, because it makes much more sense for everybody. A lot of the young actors are insisting that films be shot start to finish, or more or less start to finish. <coughs> Which is a good thing. Thing is, we are not the best of planners, but we are the world's best improvisers. Nowhere in the world can you say, I'd like a film set put up in three days in Film City, and have it put up and be shooting with all the props, with all the um, interiors, everything done. It's just impossible to think of. You say, I want an elephant tomorrow. Two elephants will come. We 
have this fantastic ability to improvise. And that is our strength, but it should never become an excuse for not doing the proper preparation. The more pain you take up front before a production, the easier the production will be, the bigger the gain will be. And the more you say, yaar, shooting mein kar lenge, the more you will suffer. Because not that you can't do it while shooting, it's just that during shooting, 20 other things take your time, take your attention, problems you never imagined, and then have to deal with those routine things, you don't want that. Make sure you plan and work out the details as much as you can before production, before going into production. The Europeans have a sort of middle attitude, this sort of plan like the Americans, who put up the storyboard when they it's all on computers, they use, you know, final draft for their scripts, they use uh, uh, final cut proof editing and your, your, your budgeting software is there, etc. It's all worked out, interlinked, etc., etc. But then they, they act like us in the sense they leave a lot of things for improvisation at the end. You know, in Hollywood, it's, things are so prepared that it's almost impossible for a director to change even a line of what's written in the script because the, the, there are so many layers of people that are watching you, supervising you, that it's very difficult. You know, the degree of film freedom that filmmakers here in India have is greater than anywhere in the world. Greater than anywhere in the world. Now, with corporates coming in, there are some interferences and controls happening. But even now, believe me, <coughs> compared to what I've seen, you have a great deal of freedom. And that is to be celebrated. Really speaking, the Hollywood system is, is like an island fortress. It may be on mainland America, but it's got the mentality of an island. Only the politics of Los Angeles matter. Only the who's who of Los Angeles matter. They don't care about New York, let alone the rest of the world. So, you know, when I arrived in Hollywood, I said, okay, let me impress these guys. I got myself a house in Beverly Hills. I was driving a Mercedes. You know, I was, got myself invited to the big parties. They didn't give a damn. They're not interested. They are just, it's like an incestuous club that that basically knows each other, relates to each other, and values each other. And breaking into that club is one of the hardest things in the world.